Hello guys, uh, this is a, uh, a Fiat uh, 2013. As a matter of fact, uh, all the uh, models I've seen, they're pretty much the same. If you uh, uh, the climate control plate look, look, uh, looks like this, then there's no other way to uh, remove it. So uh, they are the procedures or the same or the process. So what we are doing today is uh, I'm going to remove the plate. And the reason I'm removing it is because the uh, the light or the light bulbs in these two do, do not uh, work. I think they're drawn. Those two work. So I'm going to uh, remove the plate, uh, this face plate, and so I can look at to see what size because I look at the, uh, the manual, uh, the uh, owner's manual, and it doesn't list it, uh, the size of the light bulb for this. So let me uh, take it, uh, take it out and look at it. And if it's something I can go to the store, buy, and we'll, um, I'll do that. So right now the process, what I'm showing you is how to remove this. Let's do it together. Now, this is what I'm using, the plastic is a plastic you can use a uh, if you use a uh, a flat screwdriver you uh, risk uh, cracking this because uh, that's you uh, know this is plastic itself and can easily break so I'm using these uh, here okay so I don't see any screws around and the way I see it, it looks like this is a clip-on and so I'm going around, see, to, uh, to kind of lift it, okay? Go around to loosen it, to loosen it up. And it's the same. Go around, kind of feel it, and do it very lightly, slowly. It's a little bit hard to come out, but it's gonna be that very easy. Very easy, but that's the only that's the only way to do it. to open the the window so I can get some uh, some air there we go there we go it was it's hard but I got it Yeah, it's a little bit hard, but it's coming. Yeah, I got this side out because yeah, it's a uh, screw. Next time, I won't, I won't put it. Next time, I yeah. Next time I take it out, it won't be as hard. There we go. See. Now you see. That's the thing. This ball, that's the, see there are two balls, one here and one here. These are, that's the one that they didn't work. That's how you turn this thing on. You 
to put it all the way to the end. Okay. And this is it. And this is the, uh, that's the back. Oops, there you go. This is the back of it. You see, this, this vehicle has uh, no electrical connector. No electric because, uh, because everything is so uh, you got these uh, little stuff here that's uh, turns the wheels and stuff and that little inside there see here Go ahead. and so that's the light bulb that it, that's bad it's blown so I will take it out and go to the store and see if I can uh, find uh, yeah another one and the reason it was so hard to come out, the reason it was so hard to come out is because of these uh, these clips. See, that's a metal one, and that's, this one here, it's actually, it looks like it's, it's stuck inside. Okay, no, actually the other ones are left inside, but this one comes out. It's a metal clip, there we go. This metal clip here belongs here. See, metal clip. Just have to put this one back in tie here. Oh. Gotta be careful that I don't lose it. Move this. I don't know if I if you gotta take the whole thing out or just the, the bulb itself. But I will try to uh, find the best way to remove it. Take it out. Oops, I broke the uh, broke the clip. It doesn't matter. So I, that's the bulb, I replaced the bulb and so you will not be able to see when it's on because it's daylight right now, it's hard to see. The reason I noticed that the light, it wasn't working uh, or the light, the bulb was bad is because I started driving because of time change and that's, yeah, that's how I noticed. But uh, yeah, that's the, again, if you want to change if you want to replace this, a lot of people do. If you don't like this color, you do, you that's how you remove it. Uh, there's no clip; it's all fasteners. Okay. And then for this panel here, if you want to take this off, it's the same process. You have to remove this, and then you see uh, the screws. One, two, and then inside here in the glove or oh, in the glove compartment and you find some uh, screws in the glove compartment and after that you uh, you will take uh, this plate off okay and then once you take this out then you'll be able to take the if you're taking the radio for example you see see the radio if you're taking the radio out it's the same process too you remove this okay uh, to give you better access to the uh, the radio all right so now let's put this back together so what i did uh the ones that are off these are off button i i turn it all the way to i turn this one all the way to the end to the off uh, position and i'll put it in slowly and see it should uh, should turn push that's the same thing see it turns I tried okay see it stop here then you go that's how it go I make sure it works before I push this in okay see now it goes 
it's gonna be hard. That's it. This is how you take the fish blade out. You see, now it's turned back on. It turned, it, it turns. Position, on and off position. And thanks for watching. And don't forget to uh, comment, positive or negative comments, uh, no curse words, okay? And also, don't forget to subscribe and activate the notification bell, okay, for new videos. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you.